Okay, hello everyone. I hope you are well. Today I will be talking about the NATI CCL Proctor exam. It's a very important topic, a very important video for today. So as of 2021, NATI has introduced a new software for attempting the CCL test. I'm here talking about the Proctor test or the Proctor exam application. Unlike last year, where the exam used to be given on Microsoft Teams, this year is completely different, and you will need to do it via the Proctor exam application. It might be odd and challenging to give the test on this software if you are not familiar with it. Being accustomed to this software is vital, so you avoid being nervous or stressed throughout the test. Well, in this video, I will take you step by step on how to give the test. Actually, I'm showing you the process from A to Z. Let's get started. There will be some PowerPoint slides throughout the video to make it more interactive and more understandable. So here in this slide, you will see that a couple of days before your test, you must receive a confirmation email from NATI. And this email will include information like this on my screen. They will say you are signed up for your online exam and underneath you will get the exam name like NATI CCL Arabic, Portuguese, Spanish or whatever the language is. Then they will show you the steps. There are three steps to follow before starting your test like step one and step two and step three. And those are the steps that we will need to discuss in depth today. So make sure that you keep checking your inbox and you must receive this email four or five days before your test. If you don't receive it, you need to contact Nati CCL as soon as possible so that they send you the email. As you can see here, the first step is to download the Proctor exam plugin. And there is a phrase, click here, yeah? So going to step one, once you click here on this phrase, you will be taken to this screen. So this screen will pop out and you have to the left-hand side, the extensions, as you can see here in blue. You just need to click on it. Click it once, another screen pops out. As you can see, the new screen on the Chrome will be Proctor exam screen sharing. You make sure you go to the right-hand side here, the blue rectangle, and you click on it so that it will be added to Chrome. This is the first step that you must do. And this is exactly how the screen looks like when you are doing and following these steps on the exam day. Now, the second step, as per the email, you need to complete the system check. Even though Nati says it has to be completed 48 hours in advance, don't worry about this. You can do it on the same day, on the exam day. So step number two, complete the system check 48 hours in advance. This is the most important step. You need to click here. Once you click, the system will take you to the uh, checks that you need to do. And as you can see here, those are the check requirements. And you've got six checkup points that you must follow one by one. And the system will lead you. So firstly, you will get to check the microphone. If it's working, you click on next. Then you check the speakers working properly. You move on next. Bandwidth, which refers to the Wi-Fi connection working properly, you move next. Same goes to the web camera working properly, you move next. The second last one is the mobile. And here I need to elaborate more. You must first download the Proctor exam application to your mobile phone. So on top of the PC, the computer you are using and the camera in your computer, you need to use your mobile phone. You need to go there just before you start the test, maybe in the early morning, you download the Proctor application to your mobile phone, whether you are using Android or Apple. You can simply download the application. 
Now, once you download the application, you need to open the application on your mobile phone. And when you are up to this step, the mobile, the system on the computer, please guys listen well, this is very important because this is the trickiest, yeah? So the system on the computer on your screen will show you this QR code. Simultaneously, you must have opened the application on your mobile phone to scan this code. Once you scan it, the phone and the computer will be linked together. Both applications will be linked together to monitor you throughout the exam. And you will get a confirmation message. This message will be displayed on your computer screen that you have linked your Proctor application on the phone successfully to that one on the computer. And at this stage as well, you will figure out that the front camera of your mobile phone is recording. You need to make sure it is recording, yeah? So that's the second last step, which is the mobile of the quick system check. The last step, which is important as well, is the screen share. So the screen share, you will get a message like this. So this would be the last step. You will need to share the entire screen. It is a must, yeah? It is a must to share the screen so the examiners can detect any cheating or unusual act throughout the test. So you click on share entire screen, share, and great job, you are set up. You'll get a message like this. Exactly this message will be displayed on your screen. It says, great, you have successfully registered for your exam. Now, what would happen? They say here, you will find your exam link in the email we have just sent you. So now if you go and refresh your inbox, yeah, on the computer, you will find that a new link had been sent to you. And this is your exam link, okay? So now you need to go there, check, and make sure that you have received the email. And before you click on the link, the exam link, you gotta make sure that you shut down or close any application or any internet browser opened on your computer because it's not allowed. And this is the last step before you start the test. So the link sent to you after you have done the system check, you need to click on it. Yeah, this is the new link that you just received. Once you click on this link, you will get a step-by-step -step tutorial which will be displayed on your mobile screen, yeah? So now we are talking about the mobile screen, yeah? Not about the computer. So you will click on the link from the computer and you will get on the mobile phone a step-by-step -step tutorial which will show you how to set up everything. So while sitting down in front of your computer, you need to scan your face. You just need to look at the camera, the PC camera. Then you need to get your passport handy and you need to present it to the camera of your computer. Using your, usually, like I suggest you uh, use the passport, yeah? Because acceptable everywhere and every time. Now, using your mobile phone, because they are both linked, you need to show the room, yeah? So you need to show, move around with the mobile phone and show the room, including the ceiling, under the table, and even you have to move it around you to show the space around you. Now you need to place the phone. So you need to be monitored uh, by two cameras. You've got already the camera on your computer. The one on the phone, you need to place, usually the phone, you can place it either behind you so that the camera is monitoring you from the back, or you can put it to your side, left or right hand side, but it is a must to be monitored by two cameras. For the mobile phone, you gotta make sure to activate the flight mode. It is a must to activate the flight mode. Simultaneously connect it to the Wi-Fi and plug the phone to the charger. Now it's exam time and you are ready to go. Everything is ready. Now you can't go backward, yeah? So once you click start, you will get at this stage a segment to warm up, yeah? Like the Nati were very generous and they gave us one segment yeah, one sentence so that you can play it, you can interpret it, warm up, and make sure that everything is going smoothly. So this is the part related to Proctor, yeah? How would the screen look like in the exam when it comes to the 
real exam when you finish setting up. Here we go. I got you fixed. So now you are supposed to get something similar to this on the exam. This is how your screen looks like. This is the first page. Yeah. So you've got the introduction where here you can take a listen to the beep of the chime. You hear it. So this indicates that you need to start interpretation after this sound. Yeah. Then they are saying something about the repeats, the timing and the equipment. This is something I'm not going to discuss today because it's not the purpose of the video. However, once you click next, here is a very important uh, page. So it shows you that there are a number of segments in the dialogue. Yep. When you need to record, yeah, so you need to click on the uh, red button here. So once you click on it, the segment will be played. Once the segment is played and you hear the beep sound, you start interpreting. Once you finish, you click on stop and you move next. Let me show you. Take a look here. This is one of the examples given to you. So this is me while I was doing the test, okay? While I was actually preparing for the video. Let me just refresh it here. Okay, so now I will start from the beginning. All right, so take a look here. Going to next segment. Okay, let's have a look at this segment here, for example, yeah? So what will happen? You will be working only on this side. Don't worry about this side. I will summarize it for you now. This side here. Anytime you need to start any segment, you need to click on the red button, yeah? So I assume now you are ready. You've got the paper in front of you. You have got your pen handy, and you need to take notes while you are listening simultaneously. Students who have taken coaching with me got the best note-taking strategies. So you click on record. Once you click on record, the segment will be played. The segment will be played, yeah? You are taking notes, then, once the segment is over, within a couple of milliseconds, you will hear beep. Then you need to start speaking. You start speaking or interpreting. When you finish, you click stop. I will show you now in action how it goes. You need to click stop. If you finish interpretation and you are happy about your interpretation, you only click on next. Yeah, let's have this single demo together. So as I mentioned, first step, click the red button. Now I'm supposed to take notes while I'm listening. By the way, guys, here you should see yourself, but I have covered my camera, yeah, for some purposes. So I will click it. Here we go. That's correct. Could you please explain the reason you wish to change break times, which have already been agreed upon? Now you need to start speaking in whatever language, yeah? The target, the target language, for example, Arabic. So here, etc. Yeah, and you keep going. Now I'm happy with it. I click on stop. What should I do now? I move next. Yeah. Make sure you don't click on previous. You'll be in a big trouble. So all the time move forward, don't move backward. Yeah. So I finished. I click next. Now, this segment won't be played unless I click on the red button, which is record. And this is the best part in this exam. You are the leader. You lead the system, not the system leads you. Yeah. So now let's do a demo on I played the recording and I feel that I'm not able to interpret it. I need a repetition. So how to do a repetition? Let's have a look. So to do a repetition, you play it first, yeah? Once it's over, you feel that you haven't done well, you don't click on next, yeah? You play it again. Take a look. أنا غير راض عن الإنتاجية في المصنع وأريد إجراء بعض التعديلات لأوقات الاستراحة بحيث نستلم مواد التصنيع في الأوقات المناسبة.
I am dissatisfied with the productivity and I need to make some, uh, um, okay, I'm not happy with it. I need to repeat it, yeah? So you click on stop. Don't ever click next. You click again on the red button. Now it will be repeated again. Are you sure you want to repeat the segment? You'll get this message. Yes, I want. أنا غير راض عن الإنتاجية في المصنع وأريد إجراء بعض التعديلات لأوقات الاستراحة بحيث نستلم مواد التصنيع في الأوقات المناسبة. I am dissatisfied with the productivity and I need to make some changes to the break time so we receive the manufacturing raw material on time. For example, you finish, you click stop. Now you're happy with it, you click on next. You get another segment and you keep doing the same over and over and over till you finish the exam. The good thing here is that if you take a look at the top right, it shows you the number of segments or how many segments left over. Yeah. So this was my video for today. This is what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to show you how to set up your proctor exam. And once you are set up, how to navigate throughout the naughty assessment test on the screen, as you can see. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any question, please let me know. If you would like to get this uh, link, because this is a full dialogue, this is an official dialogue, this is an official demo by Nati. If you would like to get it, please just text me on my Facebook page, or you can leave an, a comment in the comment section, and I'm more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much, and enjoy whatever you're doing right now.